evening. Welcome back to another live stream. This is Total OS today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Turn down the music. There we go. Now you can hear me. Once again, the background music is from the YouTube Audio Library featuring a Silent Partner. So check it out. Free music, free download to check out for whatever purpose you choose to. All right, so let's get a transition here. There we go. This will be a fairly short one for this evening. So first of all, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles. I did not watch the game last night. I'll admit it, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, but I caught the highlights. Nice game, well-deserved for Philadelphia. The Eagles, I believe it is their very first Super Bowl win and like I said well deserved very happy for the team for the city the first one I am a Cowboys fan of course we've won uh, I believe five over the course of many years although it's been a drought for us for us Cowboys fans it's been like 20 years or more so yeah it's been a while anyway once again congrats to the Philadelphia Eagles uh, let's see what else I want to get out of the way here. If you would like to support these live events and keep these going into the future, please do. Uh, you can support these live events through PayPal. All right, just check out the links below. So we'll get started here in a few minutes. And uh, I didn't watch, again, I saw the highlights. I did catch some of the Super Bowl ads, specifically movies. And there are three movies I think I might want to go see based on the Super Bowl ads of the movies. So first of all, these are some of the um, these are the the Academy Award nominations for Best Picture. I'm assuming this is a complete list. We have The Shape of Water. Have not seen that. Darkest Hour. My friend saw that. I believe that's based on the life uh, World War II movie based on Winston Churchill. He said that was an excellent movie. Uh, that one might win the Oscar. It stars Gary Oldman in the title role. Dunkirk. I did see that one. That one put me to sleep, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm not sure why that's in there, but, you know, again, I didn't see the whole movie. I fell asleep, so maybe it's, it's my fault. Phantom Thread. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, three Billiards Outside Ebbing. I guess that's Missouri. Don't know what that's all about. Get Out. The Post, I believe that's a story on the Washington Post, uh, a Steven Spielberg movie. Uh, Steven Spielberg doesn't do too many bad flicks, so that's probably going to be in there for a nomination or at least uh, high on the list. Call Me By Your Name. Okay, and finally we have Lady Bird. I'm not sure what that one is about either, but those are the nine picture nominations for Best Picture, in case you're interested. All right, so we'll give this a few minutes and then we'll go into the top three movies, uh, tech movies, you know, special effects movies that I may want to see that caught my interest. Of course, there are more than just three movies coming out this year, but Hollywood you know, produces a lot of junk, in my opinion, a lot. You know, out of, I don't know, 500 movies that are produced a year, maybe 15, 20 are really any good, maybe less. Those are not good odds. Uh, the last movie I saw was Star Wars. Uh, the Last Jedi, I enjoyed it, and I think that one's up. Academy Award for Best uh, Cinematography, Best Sound, Soundtrack. It's not up for Best Picture. I would have to agree with that, but it's up for different awards. So if you haven't already, and if, and if you are a Star Wars fan, or, or if you're curious, check out The Last Jedi. I enjoyed that much better. Then the, uh, what was it, the Force, Star Wars, the Force takes a nap or something. The, the, the Force awakens. Yeah, it didn't awaken me too much, so. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ignore my Chan is there, is here, is there. Hello, good evening. Uh, sorry you can't say anything about Super Bowl. I don't want anything about it. Not a problem. We're not going to be talking about the Super Bowl. We're going to be talking about some of the movies or, or three of the movies I may want to go see. What's a Super Bowl victory mean? You never, as a Tennessean, I know, I know, I know. I hear you, man. I sympathize. It's been a drought for us Cowboy fan. 20 years. A longer time, as we say in Italian. Forget about it. A longer time. TJ Wolf, welcome. 
Uh, I can relate to that. Statement Hollywood produces a lot of junk. That's a shame. I normally like comedy, but it's so dumb and unrealistic. I don't mind it being uh, unrealistic as long as it's funny. Even if it's dumb. If it's dumb, funny, or just dumb, stupid, that's a different story. TJ Wolf, last movie you saw was Star Wars The Last Shot. Yeah, I, you know what? I went in there thinking I would not like it. Uh, but I got sucked into the story much more than The Force Awakens, which just... See, I hate it when, when I can't predict the movie or the script. I feel like I've been ripped off. And The Force Awakens, like... I mean, I won't go into it, but I'm sitting there with my boy and we're like, Really? This is the best that they could do? I know, I know it made a gazillion dollars, and that's why they're, they're doing more movies, and we'll talk about that. But I felt ripped off with The Force Awakens. It didn't surprise me. So, uh, not to say that The Last Jedi surprised me. Uh, I guess in a way it did. It was better than I thought. So I guess that is a surprise. But yeah, I enjoy movies. It seems to me that the best movies are the ones that are more true to life, based on true stories. Um, for example, The Darkest Hour. Winston Churchill, World War, World War II. My friend went to see it with his son, and he was telling my friend, telling me towards the end, he, he was crying. He fell for this guy, Winston Churchill. It was one man against the world, of course, World War II, and trying to defeat Hitler and Nazi Germany. But stories, movies based on true stories or somewhat true or inspired by true events are usually the best stories. You know, I, my father ju just completed a film this past November shot in Italy. It's a true story about the largest concentration camp in Italy that saved the lives of almost 4,000 Jews. It's a wonderful, beautiful, true story. I hope one day you guys will get to see the movie. He's still looking for a contract. There's a lot of phone calls being made in Italy, a lot of talk, a lot of buzz, but no contract. And part of the problem is the movie was not financed by a major studio. So in the whole scheme of things, the movie and, and, and my dad is really a nobody in the whole scheme of things. Now, if it was produced by Steven Spielberg or co-produced and all that, it would be a different story. But it's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful movie. It's called The Cross and the Star. Trust me, I think you guys will love it if it's ever going to be released. But it's for sale. Anyway, uh, there I am, by the way. How's it going? Um, yeah, Force, Force Awakens to me felt like a ripoff. Um, so, but anyway, we'll go into some movies that I may want to see here coming up this year. Uh, three or more that are on my list. I probably should go see Darkest Hour. I heard that was really, really good. Really good for what my friend says. And I enjoy, I'm into history, uh, such as World War II history and the events surrounding it and what happened. So uh, my parents were born in Italy during that time, during the Mussolini and uh, Hitler time back then. And it was, a, I'm sure it was a scary time back in Italy, not knowing uh, who was gonna win. All right, so Ben Fitzpatrick, welcome. How are you? All right, let me check see if I have any messages. All right, nothing here. But like I said, I did not watch the game last night. I'm not an Eagles fan. Nothing against the Eagles, uh, but I I saw the highlights. The highlights were good. It was a good game. Um, I like high-scoring games. So I probably should have watched it. Um, some of the ads were good. And we're going to pick, I will pick three of the movies based on the ads of what I think I may want to go see. All right, so we'll give it a few more minutes to see if, any, if anybody else jumps on. And we'll go from there. You felt the same way, Ben? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I just saw the temperature 20. I thought it was cold tonight. I went out, had dinner with a friend of mine. I'm like, we, we left Applebee's. We were there for like three hours, you know, strategizing. I'm like, man, it's cold. The Olympics. Okay, very good. Um, I have to admit, I don't really watch the Olympics that much. I don't watch that much TV, to be quite honest. So, although the, the Olympics, I probably should watch. See, see, see if anybody from Italy wins. So I call my dad and say, hey, you have a winner. Or you could have what's behind door number three. Anyway.
All right, we'll give it two more minutes and I'll give you my thoughts on the top three movies. Well, my pick, my opinion of the movies I may want to see. Actually, there's maybe four, but maybe I'll mention the fourth one last. I'm not sure if there was an ad for it. Maybe there was and I missed it. Can't remember. Uh, toss, people keep pushing me up there. I'm calling make an archery all the time. I tell them it takes someone there and not listening. What should I do? <laughs> you want me to call Sicily? make a few you do what you have to do Ben uh, tell them you'll do what you like to do these respins if you're gonna do it these uh, reviews they're for your benefit I'm assuming I wouldn't take it personal you know uh, I mean you don't do what I do here on YouTube so in my situation I would have to take into account what the community wants to see uh, because ultimately when uh, when when people contribute and donate it's for their benefit too and not just me but in your situation if, if, if you don't want to do it tell them no and that's final tell them no and grab a beer and tell them I said so if they have a problem they can talk to me okay yeah it is cold I mean it it is winter still it's still February so I guess we shouldn't complain but uh, I wish I had relatives in Florida. I would be there. Anyway. Novel, Novel Netware. I remember Novel. I'm not, I don't remember Netware, to be quite honest. Yeah. Is Novel still around? I don't know. All right. Let's do this track of your comments you guys already know what I look like if you forget I look like this and leave Ben alone don't make me call Sicily <clears throat> oh you guys have seen this but this is the uh, this is the playlist in case you're interested most of it's from silent partner Again, from the YouTube audio library. Just some background music, so check it out. Netware was their product before they acquired Seuss Linux. Ah, okay, got it. Okay, very good. Okay, are we ready? I'm gonna pick my top three future movies to go see, I think. If you have other ones you may want to go see, would like to make a suggestion, please do. <laughs> gotcha, Ben. Okay, let's have some fun. All right, so this is, again, this I can't show the movies, obviously, the ads for them because of copyright issue, but this is, uh, yeah, Jurassic World. Fallen Kingdom. I saw. I saw the ad for this. Uh, I enjoyed the last one. I didn't think I was going to. Uh, Fallen Kingdom, uh, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, upcoming science fiction film. Again, these are movie based on technology, of course. That's why I'm calling it movie tech news or whatever. Sequel to Jurassic World. Twenty has it been? I guess it has been three years. It is the fifth installment of the Jurassic Park film series, and the second installment of a Jurassic World trilogy. That stars these people, um, Steven Spielberg acting as executive producer. Uh, the film is set on the fictional island of Isla Nublar, located off Central America's coast. And this has the cast, and uh, I believe it's the same cast from the last one. And J uh, Jeff Goldblum, the fine actor, is coming back as Dr. Ian Malcolm. Uh, he was last seen in a Jurassic Park movie in 1997, The Lost World. Terrific that he's back with the cast. The synopsis, after the demise of Jurassic World theme park, the dinosaurs roam freely on the island. Of course they do. For years until an impending volcano eruption threatens their existence. Claire, the character of Claire, the former park manager has now founded the Dinosaur Protection Group. Really? Dinosaur Protection Group? Jeez, government sticking their nose into everything. Oh, jeez. You know what? 
It's, it's, it sounds like a Wall Street firm. Give us a call now and invest in the Dinosaur Protection Group. The best insurance for your dinosaurs. Okay, so anyway, uh, the plot seems kind of silly from what I read, but it's still probably a movie I would uh, like to see because the last one was actually stupid. But I enjoyed it. It was fun to watch. So, looks like there was about a couple years in the making, pre-production 2015, and so on. So, but it'll probably be fun to watch. Filming began in England. Ah, okay. This will be released uh, June 22nd. Very good. You vote for that one? Um, I don't. Uh, actually, the one I, I'm not sure which one. I have, I, have, I have to think about it for a second. I think I know which one I will vote for. The second one that I want to go see, it's another sequel, a lot of sequels, and I don't think I've seen a single bad sequel. Mission Impossible. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mission Impossible Fallout with, of course, Tom Cruise. Yeah, this is like the sixth one. I haven't seen a single bad uh, Mission Impossible movie, and that's rare to do six good ones, or at least I think the next one's gonna be good, to do six good ones in a row. Uh, but it all comes down to the writing, and I've always enjoyed what I call tight writing, a good script in each movie. Uh, so of course, this is an American action spy thriller, kinda like an American James Bond type of movie. Uh, the IMF, the Im Impossible Missions Force, some casting, uh, Tom Cruise, Rings a Bell, Bing Rames, Simon Pegg from Star Trek, Alec Baldwin, he does a terrific Trump, by the way, on oh, Saturday Night Live, uh, Del Henry Cavill, I think I know, Angela Bassett, okay. Uh, so it looks like production or pre-production began in 2015, another two year. It seems like a good movie, it takes a couple years to make. Uh, filming uh, in Paris, New Zealand, India, Norway. Wow. Yeah, and of course, Tom uh, Cruise does pretty much most of his own stunts. Uh, you may have read where he broke his foot or his ankle during one of the jumps. They left that scene in the movie, by the way, where he jumps off a building and lands wrong and, you know, broke his foot or his ankle. Uh, they tried to do as little... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are special effects, but they try to keep it as real as possible. And I think that's one of the reasons why um, Mission Impossible Fallout uh, or the Mission Impossible series is, is so good. And I love the soundtrack. Dun, 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 dun. Well, you know the soundtrack. I enjoyed the last one. I forget what it was called. It was a good one. So I got to, you know, this might be the one to see. If there is one movie I may not want to, want to miss, it might be this one, Mission Impossible Fallout. It actually sounds like a game. Yeah, so that's my thought on that one. All right, and the last one that I might want to consider, again, since I enjoyed the last Star Wars movie, uh, Solo, A Star Wars Story. There's the poster there. Directed by well, three directors, but including Ron Howard, of course, the famed the actor director from Happy Days. Because Ron Howard is involved, this one might be a good story. Uh, solo, a Star Wars story, a story, or simply Solo, American space western film centered on Han Solo. I won't go into all of this. You've seen the movie, you know what this is um, going to be about. Uh, principal photography began, oh, last year. This was done in a year, huh? Or a year and a half. Okay, all right. That's kind of quick. So it is a space western centered around the young Han Solo with the Wookiee, Chewbacca, yeah, Lando Calrissian. This is the cast. Woody Harrelson as Beckett, a fine actor. Uh, Donald Glover, that rings a bell. And the rest of these people I do not know. Music by John Powell. 
However, John Williams, longtime composer, will contribute the main theme. Okay, all right, well, that's cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, there's, there's another one that I think I might want to go see out of curiosity. It's called The Predator, I think. Uh, let's see, The Predator? Yeah, The Predator. Um, now, these sequels are hit and miss with these type of movies. However, I enjoyed the first Alien vs. Predator. I thought it was it had a had a believable story. This is kind of cool. This poster, lightning in the shape of the Predator mask. It's pretty cool. Um, I thought that was a good one. Alien vs. Predator, the first one. I I I I even bought the uh, DVD. I got sucked in the story. It was it was somewhat plausible. It made sense. Uh, I thought I thought they did a good job. So, uh, let's see, this will be, I guess, Predator 4, sort of? Alright, of course, science fiction horror, directed by Shane Black, written by Black and Fred Decker, fourth installment, yes. The last one, Predators, in 2010, wasn't bad, either, come to think of, Predator 2 was horrible, it stunk. Predators wasn't too bad. All right, these are the stars. Uh, I don't recognize any of these guys except Olivia Munn, sort of. Uh, filming completed in 2017. Not oh, that long ago to be released. All right, this summer. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was confirmed to have discussed with about returning. Oh, okay. Interesting, but I don't think Arnold's is in the movie. That would have been interesting. He's with, I'll be back to kill the predator. Well, anyway. Filming began in British Van, uh, British Columbia, Vancouver. Beautiful place. My cousin's been there. He said it's super clean in Vancouver. So, you didn't even know there were so many Mission Impossibles. Yeah, six. <laughs> you know, a lot of missions are impossible, right? I think you know, I've seen the first one. Ignore it. They are all good. They are all good. Do you know that picture of Italian versus Predator? I do not know that one. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. Those are my top picks. Um... Yeah, Jurassic World, uh, Han Solo, Mission Impossible, The Predator. Uh, if there's one, I more than likely will go see. If I had to pick one, it's going to be Mission Impossible, Fallout, uh, Impossible number six. I think they did the first one. I think the first one was... Um, 2000? 2000? Well, it's been a while. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Anyway. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the movies to go see. Alright, so I'll leave this up for discussion and for more comments. Let's turn on the ticker real quick and see what's up in the news. Then we'll wrap this up. Alien Predator meme Italian. You want me to do that? Alien Italian. Itali it Italian, I got it. Okay, all right, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Are you talking to me? That's funny. <laughs> Can't find the page. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. But I can see it. He's got his hands up like, hey, you talking to me? Well, Italians do have big, big mouths, but yeah. 
Um, <laughs> uh, good one, good one. Uh, what is this? What's this one? Oh. <laughs> that's a, whoever wins, we lose. <laughs> Trump and Hillary. That, that's a good one, too. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'll play. Let's see what else we got. Uh... <laughs> oh, these people have way too much time on their hands. There we go. That was the first one, Alien vs. Predator. That's the one I really enjoyed, so... Uh, check it out. Anyway. Okay, enough of that. Ital alien. Alright, so a few more minutes guys and I am done. Mm -hmm. Speed of the Super Bowl, a can of soda was $30. $30 dollars hot dog 15 fries 13 dollars oh what a bargain so when they say it was a high scoring game <laughs> the score wasn't the only thing that was high if you know what i mean ah anyway yep the internet has too much time in its hands so true if we combine all these powers we could do so much boy ain't that the truth What's up, pizza loving nerd? He thinks Linux is laggy. A laptop for mobile. You can install, or he can install, your friend can install a lightweight distribution to make it faster. I mean, 06 is a little uh, past due, uh, but have him pick a lightweight distro, and I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, so in that 06 machine, uh, how much RAM? Yeah, I know. Just tell me, you know what, friend? Forget about it. How much RAM is in that machine, pizza? Does it have a gig of RAM? He should be fine. 512 RAM might be a little bit too low, but as at least a gig, and it's not broken. Or crack screen, it should be fine. If not, forget about it. Yeah, you could run uh, Lubuntu, even Ubuntu Mate with a gig. Uh, Lubuntu uh, Linux Lite X LXLE. All right, well that's the problem. 512 megabyte of RAM is really, really, really low. You can try, not really for beginners, you can try Puppy Linux. Uh, actually, Lubuntu might work. Yeah, I think Lubuntu, you might be able to get away with it. Maybe. Yeah, or just add another stick of RAM. Yeah, yeah one gigabyte is really where you wanna be. But if you only have five, I mean, it, it can be done. I've done it with that much RAM. It just, yeah, Puppy Linux, try that. I thought I was telling when he sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I think Puppy Linux, you can go as little as 256 RAM. An SSD, it would help. But yeah, I, the first thing is the RAM, in my opinion. You, you, you can never have too much RAM, from my experience. 
Hacking suspect wins extradition appeal. Interesting. Don't worry, Pizza. I found out who disliked. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a phone call from Sicily right now. That person will be taken care of. <laughs> Just kidding. I have no idea who disliked. <laughs> yeah, I know who was your friend. It says Todd doesn't know what the freaking he's talking about. See what I'm saying? I'm enjoying this music. Anyway. Alright, so I'm just about done with this. I wrap this up. Uh, let's see here. Firms warned on tech distractions. Eh. I wonder how many people at the Super Bowl went, What? $30 for a can of Coke? <laughs> they should have said, forget about it. Yeah, I, I am enjoying the music too. Randy Blankman, sh oh, just for you, Randy, I will stick around a little bit longer. Just for you. What's up, Randy? Is this your first time on a live stream? If it is, welcome. He dislikes that you disliked him. Okay, but how, how can I dislike one of you guys? If you can hit the dislike button. How do I dislike, unless I type it in, I dislike you. <laughs> I would never do that, of course. Who, me? I would just call Sicily. With you, with you, sir, Randy. Well, with spaghetti, with spaghetti, Randy, uh, I pref I like sauce. Lots and lots of sauce. Uh, maybe with some meatball, meat, but sauce, garlic, basil, oregano, all the, all the spices. Yeah, uh, of course, cooked with olive oil. And that's how I like my sauce. Sometimes I'll eat white spaghetti with, um, with ricotta cheese uh, and sprinkle Parmesan cheese on top, and that'll work. Maybe some seasoned salt. Uh, but that's actually pretty good too for a white pasta. Kind of like a white pizza also, so. What's up, Lance? The chat lag? Well, I don't know, maybe it's where I live, so. Randy, you've looked at my videos for two years. Well, thank you, uh, I think. What do you think? Am I doing a good job? Gonna eat spag for dinner, okay. Yeah, that's I've, I've been doing these live events. The channel started uh, eight years ago. The uh, hi Tony, thank you. I like the music too. I've been doing the live events steady now, sort of for the last year, maybe two. I think that's the future of YouTube, is getting you guys engaged in all of this. You like, thank you, Randy. That is greatly appreciated. So I think that's the future. Uh, it's tough to stick out from the rest of the crowd. Eight, nine, ten years ago, there wasn't a lot of competition when it comes to this type of a channel. Uh, and it was easier back then. Right now, it's, it's hard. It's hard to differentiate. Although I will say there probably aren't, I cannot think of another Windows user that promotes Linux like, like I do. So this is somewhat of a unique channel. Um, but that being said, it's tough. It's tough because of, you know revenue has dropped uh, for a whole host of reasons. 
Uh, and it's it, and it's hard doing these to keep this funded. So if any of you guys can help support the live stream and keep these alive, uh, because the way things are going, I'm not sure how much longer I can do this. Um, there'll be a link below in the show notes. Just click the PayPal there. And um, but it's 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 fun doing these. It's a lot fun doing these versus doing just another review of Linux, which it seems like everybody does, but not everybody. Uh, but this is different, so at least I think it is. So, Peppermint OS, that's a good one too. Yes, absolutely. Cisco, okay. Yeah, I like Peppermint. Well, for beginners, Peppermint, Ubuntu Mate, Linux Lite, of course, Linux Mint, uh, LXLE, uh, Zorin Lite. Um, there may be another one in there, but yeah, nowadays you have choices. I did help you. Cool. Say it is okay to move to Linux. Absolutely. Um, for people that don't do what I do, you don't necessarily uh, need Windows. I mean, I have Windows as as you know, play games, um, sync my, um, I don't have it here, but my, my I have an iPad, <clears throat> Microsoft Zoom, I have to sync, but I keep Windows as a backup. Uh, before it was, you know, Windows mainly Linux as a backup, but now it's reversed for me. That's how much better some of the Linux OS's have gotten better. Not all, but Windows is more of a backup. Uh, but if I didn't do this, you know, content creation and stuff, I probably wouldn't need Windows at all. But that's my backup in case something crashes in Linux. And so far, it's been a while since it crashed. Uh, it, 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 it depends on, on the distribution. And Ubuntu Mate is fantastic. I mean, at least for, for me. So, yeah. Um, I'm almost Linux full-time, but not quite. Arch Merge, I have not tried. Swag Arch, um, Swag, is that for beginners also? I'm not too familiar with Swag Arch. I took a brief look at Antergos in a uh, virtual machine, it seems okay. But the last thing I tested that I really liked, what was it uh, in terms of looks, uh, Makulu. Linux it was really, really nice looking, all jazzed up. Wow, Windows has haven't been there for eight months. Wow. Okay. Cool. So I guess Peppermint OS is uh, sweet enough for you. Who uses Peppermint full time? Um, English Bob. I think, I think it's EB, English Bob, uses Peppermint, if I am not mistaken. Elementary OS Junior will be version 5.0, not 0 0.5. Well, that's a jump. I'll have to check into that. Okay. Uh, that got my curiosity. Let's see here. version of peppermint this spring significant new changes <laughs> wow 5.0 EBS be based on Ubuntu 18.04. Okay, very good. Yeah, of course, the, the new Ubuntu based on GNOME. It's not my favorite desktop environment, as you guys know, but yeah. 
Your wife is a huge Sims 3 fan and won't run on Linux. There's no line. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely, Kagan. Look, I'll probably take some heat, but when it comes to gaming and Linux, forget about it. Stick with Windows. Um, now, Linux can do gaming, just not all of it. Uh, but if you really, really like your games, right now, Windows is it. It's that simple. I play... Um, Asphalt 8 Airborne in Windows 10. It's a free game. Even with the fairly low-end machine, it works. So, yeah. That's why if you like gaming, you really need Windows, in my opinion. All right. Hello, Rick. Welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, so that's the latest news would be Elementary OS Juno. Alright, I know some of you guys are coming in late, so I'll extend it a little bit more, but anyway. Yeah, the next release I'm waiting for is the next version of Ubuntu Mate, of course, in April. Looking forward for that. For me, this has been absolutely stellar for the most part. Would you guys like to see what all I have installed? Let's take a quick look here. Abby Word, I really don't need. Uh, you are a non-gamer? Okay, very good. Very good, Tony. Ambient Noise. I use a lot. I, I, actually, I don't use a lot. I was in the beginning. I don't need it. Since I got Alexa, I don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see. Of course, Brave Browser, Clam TK, antivirus. Of course, the question is do you need an antivirus in Linux? Isn't that a good question? I think so. GW Package Manager, one of the best. Of course, I use GUVC View for the webcam. Handbrake, Transcoder. Kazam. Kaden Live, the best video editor for Linux. Period. Pseudo Linux, you are late. Yes, we start at 8 o'clock. We'll, we'll be ending soon, but you can, you're welcome to replay these. I don't usually take these down or edit these, so. Uh, let's see. Of course, OBS, one of the best screen recorders. Hi, Randy. No, I don't. I'm not necessarily on Monday night. I don't. I, 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 I've, I've been unable to do a set schedule for the channel, which, which really sucks for me, and it probably sucks for you guys with all this mess with YouTube and the AdSense and the Adpocalypse and trying to keep funding for the channel. I've had to, I've had to adjust and you know and like and learn to try to adapt. And it's hard. It's hard. I would rather have a set schedule, but I can't do that. So, so what what I can ask from you guys is uh, obviously sub you know subscribe if you haven't haven't share share the channel share the videos if you can contribute through PayPal if you can because obviously for the foreseeable future, AdSense revenue is just not gonna work. It's just you know five years ago. Five years ago, I would have said 100,000 subscribers would have been awesome. Nowadays, it's it's really nothing. It's nothing. There are channels with, you know, many more subs, and they're hurting. So, Randy, yeah, I, I do these at random. You can usually catch me on the weekend. 
but I do these at random. So if anybody would like to keep these uh, live events going or whatever, the, the best way right now is through PayPal. I don't have Patreon anymore. Some of you like Patreon, some of you don't. I haven't heard any bad things about PayPal. It's worldwide. Um, Pseudolinux says, holy cow. Which one is holy cow? <laughs> Yes, turn on notification bell. That definitely helps. Uh, but right now, I don't have a set schedule. Uh, I, w I did in the past, sort of, but it's it's hard. You know, um, it's hard right now. But thank you for asking, Randy. Thank you. Okay, where are we here? Uh, let's see. Ocean Audio, I don't use that much. I use pretty much Audacity. Pulse Audio should be standard. Spotify, I don't use that much. Ever since I got my Alexa, I don't really, yeah. Use my much uh, Spotify. Super Tux Cart, one of my favorite games in Linux. Of course, ticker feed. UCare System Core is a great app for maintaining your system. UNet button is what I use to create bootable uh, USB sticks. And that's it. Linux, in general, is an amazing universe, Randy. Linux is everywhere. Cell phones. Everybody's got this, right? If, and if you don't have an iPhone, you're using Linux. Tablets, GPS, the space station, cars, desktops. Well, some desktops. Um, Linux is everywhere. People don't know it. But they do now. All right, where are we here? Uh, let's see. You hate YouTube's URL blocking feature, so Bitly, so I can make it proofed. Okay. Two men charged in jackpotting scheme that drains ATMs in minutes. That's a nice trick. Anyway. Well, very good, Randy. Dell, yeah. Uh, Dell actually makes uh, Linux friendly machines. Uh,. System 76, I believe. How's the weather? Alba oh, that's right. You, you did ask, didn't you? Sorry, I missed it. Sometimes Italians talk too much. It is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. The forecast. No showers. Accumulations less than an inch. Tomorrow, lower 30s. Ooh, heat wave. Tomorrow night, 1 to 2 inches. 20s will be cold. Snow, freezing rain. Uh, 1 freezing rain and snow. Oh, oh joy. And so, yeah, Thursday night, bitter lows, 10 to 15. Probably should know by Wednesday or Thursday if my friend got enough uh, signatures for his petition for Congress, which would warm up things that night. But it is going to be cold, Albert, for the foreseeable future. But this is why we come here to warm things up. Speaking of warm things up, we're going to finish this transmission, the stream with... I used to live in Florida, so let's pick... What shall I pick in Florida? Uh, South Beach, Florida. Yes. How about images of South Beach, Florida? To warm things up. 
Ta 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 Ah, I'm warming up already. Hmm, very nice. Very nice. I'm guessing, Randy, you do not live in Florida. Oh man, look how nice that looks. I wish I was there. <laughs> oh. ah. There used to be a show on USA Network called Burn Notice that was shot in Florida. I missed that show. I missed it a lot. Yeah, the S word. Yep. The S word for socks. Snow. Oh, hello there, young girl. Anyway. Oh, look at that. Look at that picture. Let me just stare at that for a minute. That'll warm me up mentally. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Isn't that nice? Nice, long pool. To do your exercise. Yes, this is a four-letter word. Yes. Yes. And it's not the word I'm thinking of, Albert. It's S-H-I-T, if you know what I mean. It was cold tonight, man. I walked into Applebee's like three hours before I left. It was okay. When I left, it was like, dang, I'm cold. Yeah. That would make a nice wallpaper, actually, wouldn't it? Anyway. Anybody been to Florida? enough of that all right guys last call I'm gonna wrap this up for this evening once again thank you for uh, joining me for this uh, unscheduled live event it's always a lot of fun thank you Randy for stopping by thank you for your very kind comments it's always fun doing these live events I hope I, I can continue doing more of these but the future is in doubt right now the way things are going with YouTube so please do share and subscribe and support if you can You'd be out of breath swimming the length of that pool. <coughs> this is so much fun. <coughs> I could probably do it. Not all at one time. I would I would do like maybe a quarter of the way, stop, float. I would just float the rest of the way. I'd be like floating, yeah, this is oh this is so hard. Ah, uh, you know. All of those would be good wallpapers, yes. 20 years ago. See you, Lance. Thanks for stopping by. The pool in Mexico. Playa del Carmen. Can you compile my own? I do not do any compiling. Take care. Ignore my China. Good night, Tony. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you on the next stream. Will probably be um, what's going to be. I should jot these down. Oh, it's going to be the best, your best Linux applications, and we have a clear winner for number one. And you might be surprised at what it is, but yeah, based on the comments I saw, number one was by far, by far number one. 
You enjoy the live? No, it's not cheesy. You enjoy the live hangout, so? Not cheesy at all. Thank you, Kagan. No, absolutely not, man. I would rather you guys be cheesy but honest about what I do. Uh, because if it wasn't for you guys and the rest over the last eight years, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing this. So, absolutely it's not cheesy. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm. So you see, you're, you're, you're typing in what look like terminal command pseudo, and my favorite all-time terminal is the Orlando International Airport. Hello, Joe. A little late, but thank you for stopping by. You can play this back. I had picked... Uh, I didn't watch the Super Bowl, but I did uh, catch... Um, some of the best uh, movie ads. And I picked three movies I, w I may want to see uh, coming this year, this summer. So, yeah. All right. One more minute and I'm done. Joe, did you know? You probably do that. The Super Bowl, there was $30 for a can of soda, $15 for a hot dog, $13 for fries. Yeah. Uh, I definitely would have said, forget about it. I'll starve if I was at the game, but I wasn't. Thank you, Randy. Thank you for stopping by. I do miss the spats, the, the spats, and the spats, the chats with Spatry. Uh, STL, yeah. Switch to Linux, yeah. Me and Switch, we're gonna try and get our our schedules to match uh, to do a live event. So I don't know. It sucks not having a regular schedule. It's this whole apocalypse thing is tossed. Huh, put on words, tossed out my entire routine schedule. It's anyway. What is that I'm using for the weather? Weather? Oh, it's just the um, it's the built-in weather app for Ubuntu Mate. You just right-click on on the uh, top panel, add to panel. It's the built-in app, which is the best weather app, in my opinion, for Linux. And just add this weather report. But that's what I use. It's standard in the. Uh, uh, I think all the Mate desktops, of course, Ubuntu Mate, Linux Mint Mate, but anything, if it has Mate, it probably has that built in. It seems to be very reliable. Um, good night, Sudo. Local minute or a minute here? <laughs> I'm just about done. <laughs> uh, for fun, type in YouTube on star 6y. Okay, I will when I'm done with the stream. So, yes, the minute is up. Thank you for uh, all of your comments. It's always a joy doing these. And uh, I'll catch you. Watch out for the... I think the next one I have... I actually have the next one planned. Come to think of it. It's Wednesday night at 6 p.m., I think. Unless something happens or changes the schedule. And that will be... The next one will be the one on your pick for the best Linux applications. I think that'll be fun. So... All right, I am done for sure now, so uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Thank you all.